Hello everyone, this is Chakra, and what I have for you today is my finalized, or semi-finalized spreadsheet. It's kind of like a first or second draft of it. Um, it's for Factorio. It basically, you can plug in uh, amounts of items that you want to request per second, and it will tell you uh, what kind of inflow of raw resources you should need, and the number of assemblers that you should need for each of the different items. Um, so what I have plugged into it right now is I'm going I'm requesting uh, one rocket launch every five minutes. So this is one in three hundred, uh, and it's requesting one per second. So every five minutes I should get three hundred three hundredths of a rocket launch. So one rocket launch, and it's telling me that I need uh, one each of the rocket launch assemblers. So that'd be a, a silo. You need one satellite assembler, one rocket part assembler. Um, you need 100 rocket control unit assemblers, 105 rocket fuel uh, assemblers, 110 low density structures, and so on. And it basically pulls all that together, and you can uh, collapse the spreadsheet to look like this, so you can get all of your relevant info has all the items in the game put in, so if you wanted to put multiples of things in, then that would be fine. Um, but yeah, so I can tell that if I want one rocket launch every five minutes, that I would need uh, all of these raw resources per second. It uses about 160 uh, crude oil. Uh, I think this water's a little bit inaccurate because of uh, oil cracking, but this is what you need for actual crafting. Um, needs about 200 crop copper ore, 155 iron ore, and so on. And uh, what we can do, I can, uh, what this will also do, it could do that, it could do what what you see here where you plug in some kind of rate, but what it could also do is do simpler things. So if I just delete this, and if I pop up to, uh, let's say, processing units, and let's give it a second to finish calculating. Okay, so all that disappears. And let's say I want one Let's, uh, let's say 10 processing units per second. It'll take just a moment. You can see the progress bar up here. It's run through all of the calculations. And there we go. So we know that if we want 10 processing units per second, that we need this many assemblers for each of these things. And again, you can collapse the demand by using this filter. And you can see all the raw resources you need, all the assemblers you need. Um, this is demand for petroleum. So yeah, the, basically it works based on, I've got a template with all the recipes in the game. Uh, so you can see, like, if I zoom out a little bit here, that we have a bunch of recipes. Basically along the top is all the ingredients, and along the left is all of the items themselves. And you can see if I zoom in that there's numbers in each of these. So, oh, don't want that. Um, so, like, for the basic exoskeleton, if you wanted to make that, that needs 20 steel bars, so it's right there. And this is in for all of the items in the game. And you can... Bas so basically, it uses this along with a little fancy calculation in this I one items per second table. Uh, to figure out how many assemblers it actually needs for each item, and it spits that back out to you into the same user input tab down here at the bottom. So yeah, if you want to uh, use the spreadsheet, I'll put a link to the Google Doc, and you can download a copy of it for yourself. And it should work in Excel, or if you wanted to save it to your own Google Drive, that'd be fine. And then you'll have access to uh, edit each of the columns and uh, edit the filters and so you could collapse all this down and see what you want. Um, and let's just do one more example while we're here. Again, let's say uh, we wanted to do science packs. So let's say we were gonna have where's the science packs here. Alright, so here's the science packs. Let's say we were gonna have one per second of each of the science packs. Right? And give it just a moment to calculate, and it should pop up with how many of each assembler that we need. Oh, a little bit slow, but there's a red science pack, so it knows we need five assemblers uh, of red science packs, and then, yep, 
Okay, there's all of it, and we can go ahead and collapse that down. Show this off. So this is how much of every resource do we need. It even has alien artifacts. It needs 0.1 alien artifacts uh, per second. And yeah, it's got all, it basically pulls up all the assemblers. Uh, when it's iron plates or steel bars or something like that, it is referring to furnaces. And when it's rocket launches, it is referring to silos. Um, and as far as like every assembler goes, it's assuming that it's the same kind of assembler. Uh, this is one per second in terms of blue assemblers. If you put in, uh, so assembler twos, if it was assembler ones, it'd be a little bit slower than one per second, whatever you're requesting here. And if it was assembler threes, it'd be a little bit faster than one per second here. It doesn't take uh, the different crafting speed of each assembler into account, but it does give you uh, the proper ratio of assemblers, assuming they're all the same kind of assembler. Uh, so if you had all assembler threes and you were doing uh, science packs, you would need this number of assemblers and you would get slightly faster than one per second if it was assembler threes. If these were assembler twos, these would be precise ratios. Um, so this is just a little tool to put together whatever kind of factory that you want. Um, if you wanted to, like if you were just doing this, you wouldn't, uh, if you're just doing the science packs, you would know exactly how many electronic circuit assemblers you need and you could just isolate that number of electronic circuit assemblers. Uh, you could have like one section of your factory that's making all the science packs uh, and just have five electronic circuit, eight copper cable, and you would know how many raw resources you need to feed into that section of your factory. And alternatively, if you just wanted to, if you had one to have a section for each individual one, again, you could just put in the red science packs and it would delete out all the stuff that you don't need so this is all you would need to maintain a red science pack factory. Um, so yeah, and again, and this column here, I didn't really explain this, this is raw assemblers. Uh, so if you wanted to make these whole numbers, you could multiply this by two, but basically uh, this column rounds up so you don't have to actually think, oh, it's 3.5 assemblers, so that means I need four actually. So this is the proper number of assemblers. Uh, but because stuff can add together, because the number of assemblers you need can add together across these, uh, I leave this here so you can kind of see where you're at. Um, but yeah, if you want to download a copy of this, I'll put a link to it on the screen or in the description. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again later. Bye.